afternoon cactus people it's a lovely spring day the middle of February and we've got the cactus house door open today so if you'd like to join me have a little look inside I've uncovered all the plants today a little bit there to I've had the door open all morning which is nice and not yet taking the uh, tent apart at the end because we still might get some frost but I've had that open as well a little bit of air in have a quick look in there before we start still got fleece at the ready just in case but most things are looking okay and today we're just going to be having a look not doing anything uh, definite but we're going to have a look at some of the cuttings that we did last year okay these are mainly so mainly i think they're all types of apuntia cylindropuntia and austral cylindropuntias uh, that i potted up last year just cuttings straight into grit there's no compost at all in here um, this afternoon we're just literally going to have a look to see how they've done uh, first thing i notice is two of the road killer punch here are not looking brilliant let's have a little pull they feel like they've got roots on them but they look like they've been a bit affected by the cold weather there's one in behind here which is much greener and that looks happier if that a pull that appears to have roots as well so let's have a <coughs> little investigation you get the trusty pokey stick underneath it a bit of a root around trying not to wrench it and oh yes some lovely roots on that if I hold that up to the camera that's done really well. Uh, we'll have one of the not so well looking ones out as well to see what's happening. Might still be worth popping it up. Oh, def definitely some good roots on that, but as you can see, it's not looking particularly well on top. Uh, might be worth giving that a go though, so for the moment I'll just put those in some compost later and um, just just compare see how they do uh, I'll say that the darker green one I'm pretty happy with that one I'm not so sure uh, let's try a few of the others these um some bunny ears or collect the correct name of Puntia micro daisies again yeah they all feel like they've rooted so let's just have a small one out for now so this is just an investigation really, it's not a major repotting job at the moment. We just want a break from digging for half an hour or so. And yeah, look at the roots on that, that is fantastic. And so these had a little bit of water in the autumn, I've not watered them at all over winter. And they've just made the roots off their own back, they don't even look wrinkled, which is quite uh, surprising. At the back we've got some Apuntia monocanthas, you probably saw the ones in the earlier video where the, the ones in the polytunnel got damaged by the frost. These have been in the tent all winter where it's had a little bit of heat but not much and these all look fine. They, they've all got roots on as far as I can tell. I won't get one of those out at the moment because we'll just have a look at the others. Uh, in the front here we've got Ostrocylindropuntia vestita cristata, which can turn into a lovely plant. Looks like a little dragon when it gets uh, going. And here there's some lovely roots on that too. Looking very well. And there's one or two there that don't look so well. That hasn't made any roots, but but then again it's not totally dead so I shall leave that in the gravel for now and <coughs> see if that uh, 
as anything later. If we have a look at the other tray, if I can tear it away from Captain Nemo for a minute, he's got his eye on these Michelopantias because he thinks they look like some sort of fish. And but uh, let's start with one of these at the back. Uh, so Michelopantia Miquelii, I think you say, I'm not quite sure. I believe this is the only one in the genus, only species in the genus. Oh yeah, there's a very long root on the back of that. Pleased with that one. So we'll pot him up a bit later. I'm just going to pot these up in uh, this fine mixture at the back for the smaller ones. And I've got a, a coarser one over here which uh, has got some more grit in. Uh, this one, Ostrocylindropantia flacosa, is uh, quite a nice little clumping um, Pantia that grows at uh, altitude can form big woolly mats at the top of the mountains. And they all seem to have done fine. It's a little one out here. Again, some lovely roots. Um, I used to root things up in a mixture of compost and grit, but I found grit on its own. Uh, they root marvellously in it and um, you don't get any weeds coming up, that's one thing. And you don't get any problems with them um, rotting off because there's no water staying in them. Uh, once, the water's, uh, once you've watered them it goes straight through. Uh, so the water doesn't stay there to rot anything off, which is uh, now my preferred method of um, taking cuttings. But, uh, all the rest of these, these are the same as the ones in this tray, the uh, Vestita Cristatas, which, um, yeah, they all seem, I think, I don't think we've got any failures. Let's have a little look at that one. Yeah, that one, that one hasn't got any roots, but he's still green, so a couple, couple that haven't rooted yet. Which is not bad considering you've probably got some um, 30 here, maybe. But, uh, very pleased with that. So, uh, well, that's all for now. I just want to have a look with you both, you all, to see uh, how these are done over winter. Thank you for joining me, and uh, I'm off to enjoy the rest of the spring weather and do a bit more digging. Cheers.